There is a new breakthrough in cancer research today, all thanks to one of Purdue's own. Tyler Trent died on New Year's Day following an inspirational battle with bone cancer. News 18's Trevor Peters explains how lives could soon be saved from the gift he left behind. We might go back up to Carmel and see him dancing out of his grave when we go back up there because he would be so happy. Before he died, Tyler Trent selflessly gave researchers the very cells that were killing him. A cluster now known as TT1 and TT2 has been researched in this lab every single day since. Now there's a breakthrough. And he has clearly left a legacy. The hospital and Researchers at Indiana University School of Medicine say they've discovered a combination therapy that significantly slows tumor growth in models built from Tyler's cells. There are two drugs that can block its effects. As long as the tumor is being exposed to the combination therapy, it's halting its growth. But the minute we take that therapy off, that tumor starts coming back. It's an emerging therapy that is not going to kill the tumor, but will stop it in its tracks. And that's okay because it may not be toxic to the patient. You could almost see it like that whack-a-mole that you've seen at, you know, circuses or whatever, fairs, where you've got to hit it down, and then you got to hit it over here, and then you got to hit it over here. And that's kind of our philosophy and how we're going. It's going to be more of a multi-phase therapy. The procedure Tyler went through to donate his cancer cells was very painful, but his parents say results like today are the reason he fought so hard. He didn't want a child to suffer and he didn't want a family to suffer. That's why he gave until he couldn't anymore. When they came to visit our house this past fall when Tyler was close to his last days, he had had a couple new tumors pop up and he said, well, do you want to take this one? Yeah. I mean, he was offering his body. To visualize a young man sitting there in his bed and mustering all the energy that he still did was just such a motivating event for all of us. While this discovery is significant, it's just the first step to ultimately finding a cure. Right. This is what can happen. Right. We all it can make a difference. And research like this does not come cheap. That's why his parents are asking you to continuously give through his fund. You can find a link to do so on our website, WLFI.com. In Indianapolis, Trevor Peters, News 18. And while they may be rivals on the field, Purdue and IU are partners in cancer research. Both programs say they're using the funds daily to fight the disease in Tyler's honor.